Santa Muerte is a Mexican folk saint who is commonly depicted as a skeletal figure carrying a globe, a scythe, and a scale. Santa Muerte has become widespread in Mexico and is becoming increasingly popular among Mexican immigrants in the United States. What's the story behind Santa Muerte? Where exactly did Santa Muerte come from? Who are her followers, and how did she become one of the most beloved and controversial saints in Mexican history? This video investigates the roots of Santa Muerte iconography and practice in pre-Hispanic, European, Mexican, and African cultures. Oral history interviews show that Santa Muerte is related to Coran de Recimo, or Healing, a role far distant from the brutality of narco culture. To learn more about Santa Muerte, stay tuned to the end of the video. The moniker Santa Muerte has greater weight in Mexico than any other deity in history. Santa Muerte's significance is long-lasting, ubiquitous, and an integral component of Mexican mythology, as seen by cultural events around the figure and temples built in her honor. The Catholic Church does not acknowledge or authorize Santa Muerte, but adherents, mostly Catholics, beseech Santa Muerte for protection in tough times an aid in attaining love, economic success, and health. They seek assistance from Santa Muerte for lost causes, or Santa Muerte has been associated, particularly by the media, with cartels, trafficking, and other organized crime in Mexico, but also with individuals on the margins of society, such as those threatened by violence, illness, or those who are disenfranchised by church and society because they're gay or transgendered. Although there are disagreements about Santa Muerte's status as a saint, she remains one of Mexico's most important cultural symbols, reminding everyone that death is something to be cherished rather than dreaded. The popularity of Santa Muerte peaked in the late 20th century. The skeletal figure of death, on the other hand, had been relevant for millennia. From the outset, the Aztecs, who occupied what is now modern-day Mexico, had a peculiar connection with the death. They worshipped Mictecahuatl, or Lady of the Dead, a deathly figure who functioned as the deity of death and the underworld. When Europeans arrived and their conceptions of the Grim Reaper with them, the figure of the skeletal saint changed and developed into the image of Santa Muerte. The figure of the 21st century, known as both a saint and a devil, depending on who you ask, is a skeletal lady with a skull inside of a head. She usually wears a cloak and carries a scythe, However, variants in her appearance are very widespread. According to Dr. R. Andrew Chestnut, Santa Muerte goes underground for the next century and a half and only resurfaces in the form of field notes of American and Mexican anthropologists in the 1940s and 50s. There is a whole period of a century and a half where it appears we don't really have any written historical records detailing the presence of Santa Muerte. Although the festival of the Saint of Death is not new, it took decades for it to catch on. For generations, Santa Muerte was little known in Latin America, with altars, shrines, sculptures, and books devoted to her fading into oblivion. However, Santa Muerte returned to the scene with a vengeance in the late 1990s and the early 2000s. Death and dying celebrations were not new in Mexico in the late 20th century, but she became a key character in such festivities. With people purchasing statues of the saint, getting tattoos of her figure, creating art for her, and honoring her on the Day of the Dead. She's currently one of Mexican culture's most well-known goddesses. This deity's sudden acceptance invites the question, what brought her back from the edge of cultural extinction? And believe it or not, the saint's current prominence is due in large part to an uptick in an alarming factor, crime. Deaths from coke-related activities have surged in Mexico over the last two decades, and the presence of mortality has become a more major menace in the lives of regular individuals. Because of the increased number of deaths in the lives of individuals afflicted by high crime regions, the presence of Santa Muerte has become a meaningful and vital element of existence for many people. Because death is certain, non-discriminatory, and the endpoint that all people share, the saint is a reassuring presence for a large number of ordinary folks. Michael Calais, European Santa Muerte devotee, said, Death is not just the end and never was a human being. Unlike the Iwas or Vaudau spirits, she takes orders from God 
and comes for souls when they're ready to be collected and when she thinks the time is right. Santa Muerte has now risen to become one of Mexico's most important religious icons. She has had several advantages in her journey to public prominence. Mexico City built the first shrine dedicated to Santa Muerte in the city center in 2001, and additional monuments to the saint have since sprouted up around the city. Furthermore, she's recognized as one of the most prominent religious characters in any present religious festival. Despite the fact that Catholicism is most widely practiced of a faith in Mexico, the Catholic Church is not as supportive of Santa Muerte as the Mexican culture is. They don't think she's the holy, regenerating lady who's praised by many. In reality, they've denounced Mary for decades as a diabolical icon rather than a saint. The Vatican harbors a profound aversion to Santa Muerte. While many Catholic individuals in Mexico admire her, Catholic authorities in Europe believe she blatantly contradicts the values and the teachings of Jesus, God, and the Bible. While she is revered as a saint by many organizations, the Catholic Church refuses to grant her sainthood. Why are they so concerned about Catholics worshipping her? Given that one of Jesus' final actions on earth was to rise from the tomb and defeat death, they tend to regard death as an adversary rather than a passage. Santa Muerte, according to the Vatican, is an insult to the Christian faith, rather than an extension of it. The Catholic Church is leery of celebrating the dead, and establishing a genuine saint of death irritates them all. At the Vatican, Santa Muerte has become a notorious emblem of tragedy, of decay, and demonic association. However, Santa Muerte is not as reviled among ordinary Mexicans. Despite the rejection of the Catholic Church, Santa Muerte is seen as a symbol of hope across Mexico. While many spaces avoid discussing death, disease, and mourning, Mexico is an exception. Although Santa Muerte represents death, she is not feared in Mexican society. Mexican culture has always honored the transition from life to death. Events like Dead of the Dead, or Day of the Dead, I believe, have helped to transform death from a terrifying phenomena into a natural and accepted reality. Tomás Prauer, author of La Santa Muerte, said, I've become fascinated by how these people, who by all accounts are so beaten by life, find hope and the will to go on via their belief in death. I wanted to understand, and from there, my intellectual curiosity led me to become a practicing devotee. For many, Santa Muerte is a symbol of hope rather than dread. Unlike other cultures, Mexican culture is as engaged in death as it is in life, and they see it as a transition into another level of being rather than death. In terms of these principles, Santa Muerte is a popular character, and she serves as a link to loved ones in the hereafter. Furthermore, unlike certain churches, Santa Muerte doesn't discriminate against minority groups or LGBTQ persons. Because death comes to everybody, Santa Muerte is seen as a welcoming figure in which can often be a hostile society. The corpse-like saint might look terrifying, yet she consoles individuals who have nowhere else to turn. Santa Muerte, a saint in the views of many, has become a demon-like figure in the eyes of others. Many criminals, cartel lords, and mobsters have made Santa Muerte their patron saint. Why do these figures turn to Santa Muerte for help in their crimes? Criminal activity may be dangerous, and praying to the saint of death herself might help those involved feel encouraged that they'll have safe travels. Because Catholicism is at the heart of a Mexican society, even the most heinous offenders might find it difficult to seek God for help in their crimes. As a result, Santa Muerte represents the ideal compromise between religious devotion and ethically dubious behavior. Unfortunately, much of what Santa Muerte represents is obscured by the reality that some of her most ardent supporters are involved in illicit activities. Tracy Rowland, author of Santa Muerte, The History, Rituals, and Magic of Our Lady of the Holy Death, said, There are a lot of awful things going on in the world today. The death of our fears and suffering to plant a new and brighter future is just what we want, and is the power that Santa Muerte represents. In the end, Efforts to discredit the saint have spread the myth that they're exclusively used by murderers and criminals. The worst devotees of Santa Muerte do not, however, represent her. Those who have been persecuted, forgotten, and overlooked by other religious sources have found solace and some calm and some certainty at her. While not everyone is in favor of Santa Muerte being declared a saint, there's no denying that she's been one of Mexico's most significant characters during the past 20 years. The festivities around Our Holy Lady of Death 
highlight how important the afterlife is in Mexican society, how popular she is, and how relevant she is to Mexican culture. What are your thoughts on Santa Muerte's recent acceptance in the 20th century Mexico? Do you have any questions that maybe weren't answered in today's video? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our incredible videos in the future. Keep an eye out for the next video. Later.